Since Paramount shat the bed with the Halo TV show, it's time for you to make your own Halo adventure, and I'm going to show you the mods to do it. This is Fallout 4 modded into Halo. To do this, we need three things, Spartan armor, Halo weapons, and Halo enemies. First up is the Mjolnir Mark V Assault Armor. This mod comes with over six helmet types, multiple add-ons, including different visor colors. Armor also has attachments such as wrist attachments, back attachments, including the Hayabusa Katana, over 20 different color variations, including even faction themed paint jobs. Overall, this is the most detailed Spartan armor mod available for Fallout 4 that I could find. And in my opinion, a must have for this video. Next up is the UNSC Marine Corps BDU. You can use this to deck out your companions and settlers with marine armor or marine pilot armor. These variants come with four different colors, but why would you not stay with green? They have customizable attachments, chest pouches, waist pouches, holsters. All options are available on both variants. Very cool to give you that militaristic vibe for your settlements. Next up is Sierra 117 Redux. This is basically the classic Halo Combat Evolved with the original Xbox look. It is the perfect classic look if that's really what you want. Various different color options if you want to mix it up. Kind of cool, just giving you more options in case you don't want to go with Mjolnir Mark V mod. Now we move on to weapons, MA-37 and BR-55 service rifle. This is the Halo Reach assault rifle variant and the Halo 2 BR variant. Both fully customizable with receivers, scopes, barrels, muzzles, mags, including even damage multipliers so you can up it as you go. Make it as strong or as weak really as you want. Very, very close to as authentic as you can get with the original weapons. Moving on next is the, the Misria Armory. This is going to give you eight Halo weapons, all fully customizable with reload animations and is close again to perfect replication of the actual guns from Halo. Some of the ammo counters for me didn't work, but this is listed as a known issue. It's nothing major. It's still an absolute must. You can get the shotgun, the submachine gun, DMR, basically every gun you're gonna need to complete the full Halo look. Next up, I figured I'd throw a little bonus one in here. This is the ODST Battle Armor. This comes with three suits of armor ranging from Halo Combat Evolved up through Halo 2 and even the Halo 3 ODST style. This offers an insane amount of customization and variants, including a Hayabusa armor style. Now, as much as I think this is an awesome mod, it isn't exactly necessary because you get an ODST variant with the Mjolnir Assault Armor mod, but this one has far more add-ons and customizations that come with the ODST variant. Very, very cool. Very, very cool if you feel like being an ODST trooper. Now we move on to enemies. Brute Invasion. Brute Invasion turns all super mutants into brutes with three different sets of armor. These are not lootable for the player to wear. Now the super mutants will either be Brute, Brute Captain, or Brute Chieftain. They also include five new weapons. Of that includes obviously the Grav Hammer. This is an excellent mod and it's very similar to the Gears of War mod that I use. It replaces super mutants with Locus. And last but not least, we have Elite infiltration this is a raider replacer mod that will only work if you're starting from a new save if you're using an existing save if raiders have already spawned in those raiders will not be turned into elites so this is best to start with a fresh save i would assume you would do so anyways but i just want to say that in case you run into that issue so obviously halo wouldn't be complete without the elites there are eight elite armor types and five new weapons, including fan favorite energy sword. Now, these armors are craftable at the chem station if you do want to wear them. But again, you cannot loot them off of fallen enemies because that would just be weird if they suddenly turned back into raiders. Now, I must say, 
I've looted some of these weapons and some of the weapons, sounds, and animations can be a little wonky, but the author does state that they are only usable because a few people asked for it. So keep in mind that it's really, it's not perfect, but it is there for you to use in case you want to. All in all, I think this is a perfect mod to finish off the Halo collection. So now we've got the armor, we've got the weapons, we've got the enemies, we've pretty much got it all. But I'm gonna give you one last bonus mod. This really gives your settlements that military feel, and that is the, bun the Remnants Bunker mod. This mod allows you to build enclave bunkers and decorations to bring your settlement to life. You have UNSC soldiers walking around, why not give them a military installation essentially to guard? With this enclave decorations, you can really go all out leaving out weapon crates, building yourself a command post, things like that. I think this is awesome. All links are in the description below, guys. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.